What's going on, Sea Kids? My name is Mr. Jack, and welcome back to our online experience. This week, we are continuing our series called Focus on Faith, and we're going to look at a real life story of when somebody in the Bible had faith. Before we get started today, I want to show you guys our challenge video. It's awesome. I hope you enjoy. What's going on, Sea Kids? Welcome back to another challenge video. Challenge. Challenge video. All right, we're gonna get started. Jack, what are we doing? All right, we got uh, our tools. Our Here, tools. I'm gonna give them a little, a little look. Yeah, at the give tool. them a little look or see. <clears throat> got some Halloween tools. Yeah, it's we... not Halloween, but it's also not Christmas. So you know what that means? It's Halloween. It's Halloween. Exactly. All right. All right. We're gonna we... have four minutes to carve the best watermelon no. pumpkin, pumpkin possible. The it's best a watermelon pumpkin, pumpkin possible. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start in three, two, one, go! Uh, so play-by-play -play commentary. How's your uh, pumpkin looking? Uh, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the woods here. I'm getting my my hand is all watermelony. Oh, that's good. Oh gosh. You know what I learned? What did you learn? From all my pumpkin carving in the past because I'm a five-time world champion. Oh, are you, you shouldn't waste too much time getting it out. It's been about a minute. So it's been about a minute. I'm not gonna waste too much time getting all this gunk out. Oh yeah. But no. we'll get just a nice little bit, just for the sake of it. You know, just for the sake of it. Count it down, Bobby. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Boom. That's not love. What are you? Bobby just stabbed his watermelon. That's not love. Oh, gosh. All right. Are we All ready right. to show them all? I'm ready to show. Okay, here we go. We're going to flip them on three. One, two, three. Boom! What's the name of your pumpkin? Mine is the Sea Kids Pumpkin slash Watermelon slash Champion slash Super Champion of the Week. Mine is World Champion of the World, five-time award winner. Oh. So let's bring them up closer for a better look. All right, Bobby, let, show us what you did with your pumpkin. Okay, so first of all, his name is Jeff. Jeff. Um, this is his mouth. He's very happy, as you can see. Oh. He has eyes, and then he has the... <laughs> He's throwing up, he is, Bobby. He is. He is. Just throwing. Oh gosh, that's gross. Um, and then he has a very unique haircut. Oh. Uh, he he dyed his hair orange. Oh. And as you can see, he's a very stylistic oh. kind of guy. Okay. Um, and yeah, so this is Jeff. Oh, that's Jeff. All right. Oh, Jeff fell over. Well, I'm gonna show you. This is uh, Mr. Bobby. Oh wow. Uh, you can see his evil little teeth right there. Wow. That's to show that he's evil. All right, he's bald because, you know, having no hair is better than having hair. Everybody knows hair. that. I have hair. Uh, we got the C Kids right here. Oh, C Kids. Yeah, C Kids and a heart. You and know a heart why there's a you heart? Sea Kids. No, well, yes, also that, but also because this this watermelon was carved with love. <laughs> yeah, guys. Well, let us know who won in the comment section if you think. That Mr. Bobby one I with think, Jeff. Look, it was definitely Jeff. Look at this uh, haircut. No, Mr. Mr. Bobby Watermelon definitely takes the win. Nah, here. this one right here. No, he's all like ooh, ooh ah, ooh, ooh, ooh ah. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you vote on who wins in the comments below and on our activity. Uh, for now, we are going to go to Miss Shannon for our trivia. Miss Shannon. Hey everyone, it's Miss Shannon and I'm here with your trivia question for the week. So, there were three people that were thrown into the fire. But when the king looked 
into the fire himself, how many people did he see? Your choices are A, he saw three, nothing changed. B, he saw four. C, he saw two. D, he saw a hundred. Answer below in the comment section and then listen to the Bible story really well today and find out if you're correct. Now let's jump into some music and some worship. Have a good day. the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, three guys who stood up for what they believed in with boldness. A long time ago in the land of Babylon, there lived a king named Nebuchadnezzar. He wasn't really a good king. In fact, he did some pretty wicked stuff. Like one day, the king decided to build this massive gold statue of himself so everyone would think he was super awesome. And this statue was huge. It was 90 feet tall and covered in gold. Talk about an ego. Then the king decided to throw a huge party, for himself of course, and invited everyone in the kingdom to attend. People came from far and wide until there was a massive crowd that surrounded the giant statue. Then the king's messenger told the crowd, Attention everyone! 
When you hear the music play, fall to your knees and worship the statue of the king. If you don't fall to your knees and worship the statue, you'll be thrown into a fiery furnace. Just then, the band started to play. Music filled the air and right on cue, everyone in the crowd fell to their knees and worshiped the statue. Well, almost everyone. In the middle of the thousands of kneeling people stood three men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When the king saw that these men weren't kneeling like everyone else, he was mad. I'm talking like super mad. He ordered his guards to grab the men and bring them to him. Why aren't you kneeling, growled the king. I command you to kneel and worship my super awesome statue. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego boldly said, we serve the one true God and we will only worship him. This made King Nebuchadnezzar even angrier. He pointed at the men and said, I'll give you one more chance. Bow down and worship me or you will be thrown into a fiery furnace. People all around them were whispering, just bow down. Come on, guys, it's not a big deal. But they didn't back down. They were filled with boldness. They looked the king in the eyes and said, we will not bow. We will only worship the one true God. The king was furious. He immediately ordered the furnace to be made seven times hotter than it already was. The guards tied up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and dragged them to the furnace entrance. The fire was so hot that when the door was opened, the guards next to it instantly burst into flames and died. Yikes. So some replacement guards ran up and they pushed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace. The crowd gasped as the men disappeared into the massive fire. But then, something amazing happened. Through the flames, everyone could see that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were still standing. But not only that, there was a fourth person standing in the furnace. It was an angel sent from God. King Nebuchadnezzar stood up, amazed at what he was seeing. He ran to the furnace door and called out, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, come out of the furnace! Your God has saved you! They walked out of the furnace without even one hair on their heads being burned. They didn't even smell like smoke! The king was so amazed by what God did, he totally changed his mind and promoted them to be some of his right-hand men. That day, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood up for what they believed in with boldness. And because they did, God saved them from the fiery furnace. The end. It must have been so hard for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to have faith in that situation. Thankfully, we are never going to have to deal with something like that, but we can look to stories of faith so we can believe what we cannot see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys again next week. Hey, thanks for checking out this week's video. This month, we're actually giving away a pizza party delivered straight to your house. That's right, a pizza party delivered straight to your home that you can enjoy with your family. All that you have to do to enter is, is to follow us on social media, at ckids.cc, and of course, fill out the weekly activity guide that you'll have following each and every one of our videos this month. Good luck.